Hit me up, honey. I would love to have you. What, I mean, are you a Housewives fan? Do you watch like a lot of reality TV? I've seen you make references to Lisa Vanderpump before. I was never on the Housewives train until Wicked Movie Name Drop. I was at a Halloween party years ago with my old friend Bowen Yang. And I was like, I can't get on the Housewives. He was talking about it and I was like, I don't get it. Like, I just, I don't have an in for it. And he was describing the different franchises and he said, Salt Lake City is about religion. And I was like, okay, say more. And he was like, yeah, it's like about these women, like they're o- overcoming uh, their trauma from religion and their like culture. And I was like, I grew up Catholic. Maybe that's my way in. So I went home that night and I started Real Housewives in Salt Lake City. And I have never looked back. It really, I, I just find it so, it's such entertaining television. Are you excited about the return of Mary Cosby full time this season? I'm I'm leaning toward yes. I'm a six out of ten excited. I used to be obsessed with Mary, and then last season I started to feel a little like, okay, girl, you you do have to play ball. Like you can't just not show up to any of the events at all. That is starting to get annoying um, and not as funny and fun as it used to be. But early season Mary, I mean one of the funniest people you'll ever see on TV. I feel like they must have spoken to her and been like, look, you're either in or you're out. And, you know, you have to participate. And she's full time now. She must have just been like, let's do this. She she must go there. And, you know, who doesn't want to watch someone just be like totally bonkers on television? And I think she's authentically herself, too, which is bonkers. But that's why we love it. Yeah, yeah. Do you watch then all the franchises now? Like, do you watch Jersey, Beverly Hills? Like, are you all in? Or I mean, there's no, some people dabble and just watch like one franchise or another. I'm, I always say I'm, uh, I'm halfway in. I watch half of them. I watch Miami, uh, Beverly Hills, Salt Lake City, Potomac. And I watch all of the girls trips to get like a, a taste of, of each of them. Um, I watch a little bit of Atlanta, which I like a lot. I, this is a hot take. People don't like when I say it, but I can't with the New York women, even the legacy women. I just find something, something feels a little Trumpy and a little like it's, it's dark for me that, that, that one, but. um, And Jersey's dark. I've never seen Jersey. My best friend always tells me to get on the Jersey train, but I've, I've never seen it. It might never be coming back at this point, but if you really want to, I, I would do Charmed first before I did The Real I mean, they have about, you have about 14 seasons of New Jersey and less seasons of Charmed and just, Fair. especially if you like like Shannon and Alyssa and all those girls, I would do love. Charmed first. Beverly Hills, I just love because it's like, I just want to see, El- like, I like seeing really rich people on TV. I don't want to see the relatable person in the minivan with the kids. I don't want anything real about it. I want like the richer, the better when I exactly. watch my reality TV. That's why I've seen every season of Beverly Hills and that show, it, it will remain like the ultimate because of that reason. My best friend is like li- a literal housewife in Cleveland, Ohio. And she always says that too. She's like, I want to see people spending exorbitant amounts of money. I don't want to hear about Monica Garcia not making her car payments or like having to find a babysitter. Like that is my life. I don't want to see my life on television. <laughs> I want no. to see, I want to be, I want to go to a fantasy world where people are spending so much money that you can't even fathom. Did you ever watch Bling Empire on Netflix? No, but I wanted to. I'm obsessed with all the Selling Sunsets, though. Selling OC, like all of that is I'm a huge reality TV person. Selling Sunset, I think, is possibly, I mean, it's from the same person that did The Hills. So, I mean, The Hills and Laguna Beach. I think Selling Sunset is like, yes, it's literally the best show, I think. I personally think it's better than anything on Bravo. It's like, what are we watching? It's like, Crazy. do you sell real estate? You're all a size zero. It is literally, I could watch, but Bling Empire, they are like, they make the Beverly Hills Housewives look poor. Like, you should watch it. <laughs> I have to watch that. Girl, have you seen Selling OC? 
phenomenal. I, and I've had a lot of them on this show. Like I've interviewed a lot of them, but selling the OC is phenomenal as well. Phenomenal. That is one of those shows where I just like, I didn't think I was going to watch it. And I am so, I think I find myself just thinking about them. When I meditate, I think about them. When I'm walking around, I think about them. I just think they're bringing us some of the best TV. And that one is good because you can tell they're just re actual real people who sell real estate and they hate each other it's amazing. hate each other and like you can't like make this up that this one is kind of sleeping with this one and this one's now accusing this one of wanting a threesome and it's like all just like you know what i mean because like, selling sunset was such a hit like what are the chances like right first when the oc started you're like all right it's not la it's who cares about the oc like this is and yeah and you're just like oh this is and they have boys instead of just all girl agents it's like you did it. It's like brilliant. We did it. It's so crazy that they're like, what if we had boys? And like, literally your hope is that they all sleep with each other. And then they all sleep with each other. <laughs> and like Tyler was dating, like was married to Britney Snow, like an actual actress. You're like, you just can't make this up. I'm, I've listened to all the Britney Snow like podcasts and appearances that she has to say about it. And it is juicy. She's not such a fan of his. No, nor should she be. <laughs> nor should she be. Yeah. You have a new sketch comedy show that is coming out produced by Trixie Mattel. What can you tell us about this? Um, almost nothing, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I, I figure that. Uh, it's very exciting. We're super stoked about it. Um, we've, we've been filming it. Uh, and I unfortunately have to keep it under wraps other than to say it's Michael Henry and myself and Trixie Mattel and David Silver her partner are co-producers with DeMarie Productions and I think it's gonna be really really good really yeah okay I think it's gonna be really it's about us going to different cities and figuring out what's gay to do there while we're doing stand-up and um I can't really say anything more than that but uh it just keep your eyes peeled for what I think is going to be something very special. That's like a fun concept, right? I mean, it's kind of like we're here from HBO, but I mean, very different, but it's kind of like when they go into different cities, but this is a lighthearted version. We like to say we're sort of a, the opposite of we're here. We're like a parody on this. <laughs> like instead of us going and people are helping us, or instead of us helping them like learn how to like be cool around queer people it's we're like disastrous messy d-list comedians who we need their help yeah okay yeah, well that sounds really fun have you ever stayed at the trixie motel i mean we did see it on salt lake housewives in palm springs i haven't gotten there yet but i'm dying to go i love the trixie motel series i think it's like it, it just looks like awesome yeah, it's like, where else would you stay when you went to Palm Springs? Out of all of your, yeah, exactly. Out of <laughs> your songs for witches, I Hate Kids, personal favorite. I will applaud you on that. I fully support everyone that's populating the world. I'm going to pass on that. Lots of gays have kids these days, not for me. So I'm just going to give a shout out to that particular song. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's one of my faves as well. And literally... I'll like be on a plane and a kid will just be kicking the shit out of the back of my chair. And I'm just like, it feels good to, to have an outlet for these feelings. Yeah, kids are just not for everybody. Not for me. And I have a question. So I know I read somewhere that you were in Swan Song with Jennifer Coolidge. Like, I did not see it, but like, did you have scenes with her? Is it just the fact that you're in the movie and like, did you work with her? I was supposed to be in the scene with her. She played like a... Um, beautician this this got filmed like right before she started re-popping off again and i was supposed to be her assistant in the beauty parlor and i was leaving like the next day after we filmed to go to edinburgh to do my hour of stand-up and she had to change her schedule so i ended up just having like a smaller part in a different part of the movie and i was like i'm still so bummed about it that i didn't get to do that with her but um yeah, well, I didn't. I didn't even get to meet her, but yeah, I was I, like, I'm oh, in the movie briefly. 
Okay, well, there you go. Yeah. Well, maybe, I mean, and she's playing another beautician. Like, who who, who would have thought? Because Legally Blonde, wasn't she a beautician in that? I know. I couldn't yeah. believe that she, that she was doing it, that she agreed to do it. But it's so cool. And she's so great in it, as she always is, and everything. It Interesting. Well, everyone needs to go out. I will share all of your socials. Everyone needs to check out Witches. And it's just, it's so fun. It's funny. 26 cities. I mean, everyone will have a chance to come see it. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm so stoked. Thank you. Keep in touch. I'll share your socials so everyone knows where to buy tickets. And congratulations on all of your success. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. This was so fun. Could talk to you about Witches and Reality TV forever. Carlton, long live Carlton. I could talk long about live. that alone for hours with you. <laughs> I'm sure, I mean, is this the first time anyone in an interview has ever brought up Carlton? I mean, which is like, that's the first thing I thought of when I knew we were sitting down. It makes me so happy. Yeah. Thank you. Justice for Carlton. Justice for Carlton.